today we're going to be discussing Jackie Bruckner. A um, little background information about her. Um, she was born in 1995 in Providence, Rhode Island. Did you show me that? Um, she got her BA from Wesley College in Arts History, and she almost had her PhD in Arts History from Harvard. She she got like right up to the point of her dissertation and decided that she wanted to completely change her focus. So, almost PhD. Um, after Harvard, she studied with Isaac Wilkins and Nicholas Cologne. Um, Wilkins is like this internationally renowned modern sculptor, and Nicholas Cologne is um, like one of the first people from the New York School of um, Abstract Expressionism. Um, now she's, in addition to being an artist, she's also an ecological writer and educator. So after she finished studying, um, she started to like delve into her own artistic style a bit. And um, if you like look at her collection of work over a period of time, you can kind of see how like, I guess it evolved and it changed as her interests like changed. Um, I couldn't find a picture of like this particular sculpture, but it's just like, it's just like this bomb sculpture that's supposed to like reflect the movement of water. So like using like typical like sculpture materials to kind of mimic nature. Um, afterwards, some of, some of the next pieces of art she made um, started to actually incorporate materials from nature. So Made of Earth was made in 1991. Um, she used soil and cotton to create like sculptures of farm workers' feet. They were like all cotton workers, and I guess this is supposed to show like the, I guess like the impact of humans on Earth. Another interesting piece was made of tongues. So um, Jackie Bruckner went to Spain in like the early to mid nineties. And um, I guess she was just like really fascinated by like people's accents there. And um, after she went to Spain, she went to some other Spanish speaking countries to like, I guess she was interested in like the differences between like Spanish and then like what is it called? Spanish and Spanish. Yeah. Catalog. All right, yeah. So um what she did was each country she visited, she would take soil from that particular site and then like sculpt it into a form of a tongue. Although I don't really think all of these look like tongues. After, I guess, that little phase of her art, she started to make bio sculptures. Um, what I particularly like about these is that they're like fully functioning like ecosystems. So she grows like these assorted like mosses and ferns on the rock. Um, and they're also like additional plants, like down at the base of, I guess, the pool. Um, the they're like assorted bacteria and like fish and snails and what have you living in the water. Um, the bacteria and the plants at like the bottom of the pool like decompose the waste from the from the fish and the snails. So it's like it kind of like I know like self filtering in a way. Um, I'm not certain about the gift of water. But like the water in Prima Lingua is like sacred drink. And one of the things that I found particularly interesting about her artwork 
particularly like within bio sculptures, is that she used human body parts in them. So what do you think their significance is of that? No, the prima lingua was a tongue. I guess it just it makes a connection to like human. It connects humans in nature, um, just by having the tree or the algae or whatever that was just growing on a tongue. Like we're making stuff out of natural material. I really liked how the native tongues one used soil from different um, lands because it really shows how um, the land that we grow up in um, creates who we are within our speech. That's interesting because you got a good one there. Um, so what I kind of thought was that like, I guess like using those parts of the human body like within her work was kind of like counting on how we impact our environment. So like in her bio sculptures, there's like clearly like an interworking system between like the human body part and the plants and the animals in the water, which is kind of ironic considering that we as people actually try to distance ourselves from nature so much. So um, how do you think, I guess, how do you think the, the artwork would be different if instead of using just a part of the human body, she were to like, you know, have like a full sculpture of the human body? I think it'd be cool. <laughs> impersonal kind of human language. Like when you see a person, like a whole sculpture, I feel like I all automatically think of someone's identity the whole time, whether they move, like if you see someone's eyes and you know who they are, you get a sense of their posture, like if they're your gender, or your height, or your build, or anything that makes anybody like you, you kind of have this association, or if they're not, you don't. But it's just this like, this hand, you know, it's just this tongue, it's this thing that you can't identify as an individual. And for me, that, what I've always felt, I don't know if you guys feel the same way, and you two do, is that that becomes a way for it to be about human actions as opposed to about human individuals. You know, like this hand, the hands are like the image of human beings. You know, the tongue is like this, this incredibly intimate part of the human body and it's speech and all these things that make us human. So what other body parts, I don't know, this is like a hypothetical, what other body parts could she have used that would be different? Like she used feet in the, in the cotton example, right? What is, how is that different? How Whereas the tongue is kind of like a speech, a communication, like with like um, languages, and then the hands are more about maybe empathy or the power to give. So it's hands are kind of more symbolic, like of if you put them in the right way, giving or exchanging something. So I think each of them are like supposed to be symbolic. Maybe. Yeah. Might go for you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and final question. Um, this is just very opinionated. <laughs> Given like the like the practical aspect of the bio sculptures, the fact that it's like a self sustaining water system. Do you like the bio sculptures more, or?
like about how sculptures more just because I think it's really cool that it's like a self built from system. Because it's not, it's kind of like recreate, you said recreating a micro ecosystem, but also being a piece of art. Imagine if that was your water fountain. Yeah, it's pretty much like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? It creates this, it like reinforces. 